ഹലോ എവരി വൺ വെൽക്കം ടു ആ യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനൽ അപ്ലൈഡ് ഫോറൻസിക് റിസർച്ച് സയൻസസ് മൈ നെയിം ഇസ് അജയ് ഐ ആം എൻ ഇൻറ്റേൺ ഇൻ എ എഫ് ആർ എസ് ദി ഏർലിയസ്റ്റ് ആപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ ഓഫ് ഫോറൻസിക് സയൻസ് ഡീറ്റ്സ് ബാക്ക് ടു ദ ഏൻഷ്യൻ ഗ്രീക്ക് ആൻഡ് റോമൻ സൊസൈറ്റീസ് ഐ ആം ഗോയിങ് ടു പ്രസൻറ്റ് ഓൺ ദി ടോപ്പിക് ദ ഹിസ്റ്ററി ആൻഡ് ദി ഡെവലപ്മെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഫോറൻസിക് സയൻസ് സോ ബിഫോർ മൂവിംഗ് ഓൺ ടു ദ ടോപ്പിക് today we will be discussing the introduction the history of forensic science the development of forensic science the significance and the conclusion the word forensic derived from the latin word forensis which means of the forum in ancient roman empire senate used to conduct various meetings in a public termed as forum what is science the knowledge where things can be tested and verified so it defined as the application of all basic science to the criminal justice system or application of science in criminal law and civil law criminal law deals with murder rape serious crimes and civil law deals with property money divorce so what is the need crime has existed since the dawn of time but the ways in which humanity has dealt with it has evolved criminal investigations and trials relied on oaths confessions and witness testimony such as trial by ordeal to determine guilt or innocence date back to the second century the development of accurate way of measuring density by archimedes marks a watershed in use of objective methods not just in forensics but also in the physical science on 7th century suleiman An Arabic merchant stayed in the city of Guangzhou and he noted that Chinese were using fingerprint records to maintaining the identities of newly arrived foreigners. After onwards, he used fingerprint as a proof of validity between debtors and lenders. In the year 1247, the Chinese author Song Si mentioned the use of forensic in legal matters in book titled Si Wan Jilu. On 16th century, Ambrose Perry studied effects of violent death on internal organs. In the year 1686, Marcelo Malpighi identified fingerprint method and noted in his treatise bridges, spirals and loops in fingerprint. In late 1700, Fodair published treatise in forensic medicine. Jean Peter Frank published book titled Complete System of Police Medicine. Then later, Francois de Mellay published first dissertation on systematic document examination. On 18th century, many scholars did groundbreaking work in forensic field. In the year 1775, Carl detected arsenious oxide in corpse. In the year 1784, John Toms convicted of murder by matching of newspaper from pocket and gun. In the year 1806, Valentin Rose detected poison in victim's stomach wall. In the year 1836, English chemist James Marsh done chemical process to confirm arsenic as cause of death. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, through his fiction character, Sherlock Holmes, he popularized scientific method of investigation in the year 1887. And in the ni- year 1910, Edmund Lockhart formulated the principles of forensic science, that is, every conduct leaves a trace. He established the world's first laboratory and in the year 1932 federal bureau of investigation established and also launched automated fingerprint identification system now we will be moving on to the development of forensic science sir matthew ofla the father of toxicology wrote about detection of poison and their effects on animals sir alphonse bertillon the father of anthropometry developed system to distinguish one individual person from another based on body measurements in early stages he developed portrait parley technique verbal description of physical characteristics of subject so hans gross lawyer by profession spent many years studying the principles of criminal investigation francis galton the father of fingerprint provided statistical proof supporting fingerprinting the unique way to identify individuals so william herschel one of the first to advocate the use of fingerprinting in the identification of criminal suspects sir edward richard henry 
he added to Galton's technique, creating his own classification system based on direction, flow, patterns and other characteristics of friction ridges in fingerprint. Also established the world's first fingerprint bureau in Calcutta. Sir Edmund Lockhart, the father of crime lab, in the year 1910, he started first crime lab in an attic of a police station and founded the Institute of Criminalistic in France. Sir Alexander, the first person to conduct blood stain analysis and to study about bullet markings. Dr. Karl Landsteiner, the father of blood typing, he discovered blood can be grouped into different categories that is A, B, AB or O. Arthur Conan Doyle, the sci-fi author, he created the legendary detective Sherlock Holmes. Sir Albert Osborne, the father of document examination, his work led to the acceptance of document as scientific evidence by court. Sir Leon Lattice, they devised a relatively simple procedure for determining blood group. Sir Henry Falls, the father of chance print. The chance print are the impressions obtained from a crime scene. James Marsh, he developed Marsh test that it could detect as little as one fiftieth of milligram of arsenic. He first described this test in the Edinburgh Philosophical Journal in the year 1836. Sir Calvin H. Goddard, the father of ballistics, he developed technique to examine bullets using comparison microscope to determine whether or not a particular gun fired the bullet. Sir Henry Goddard at Scotland Yard pioneered the use of bullet comparison in the year 1835. Lawrence Kirster in the mid-1960s Audio analysis was developed by Lawrence G. Kester, engineer from New Jersey. And finally, Alec Jeffries, the father of DNA fingerprinting. He developed the technique which allowed investigators to match biological samples left at the crime scene to suspect. Moving on to the forensic significance. The basic principles and techniques needed for the identification and comparison of physical evidences were developed by this great scientist that are followed now also. Later, forensic science laboratories and truth labs were established. And for now, approximately 1200 forensic science laboratories works across the globe. By the turn of 20th century, forensic science field became more established in the sphere of criminal investigation. Finally, in the past decades, documentation of crime scene has become more efficient and more important towards the reconstruction of a crime scene for solving the crime. That's all. Thank you everyone for listening to this topic. I hope you have learned something productive from this. If you have any doubts, do comment down. Please like and share our video. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn about more topics. Thank you and have a nice day.